We're gonna head over to Atlanta State Park. Named after the little town of Atlanta. I was there four years ago in the winter and it kinda, it was, the weather was horrible. So I'm going to go back. Well, here we are. We have arrived. Atlanta State Park. Right Patman Lake. We just moved on down around to the southern side. This is a pretty campground. Let's do a site overview real quick. We are in site number 20. Check this out now. All of the in this all of the sites in this loop are full connection. And most of them are pull-throughs. Actually, all the pull-throughs are on this side and back ends are on the other side. We have a fire pit charcoal cooker, picnic table, no lantern hook. What are we gonna do? I have awning lights, I guess we'll survive. Now it is an asphalt pad that's kind of level. I had to get a little kind of straight in to find a, a, a better flat spot. Full connection, 50 amp. Now, you, I, one of the things I've noticed, and there, there will be a, another scooter run through this campground, and on that scooter run, you want to pay attention to sewer hoses on all the RVs. Because, you see, the sewer connection is here, and on my RV, it's up that second door. That's a, that's a pretty good run. And most of the RVs out here are using two hoses. But you're gonna need at least 20 foot of sewer hose if you're planning on having full connections. Or just use the dump station. So the back end sites are just as beautiful. And that one's available, at least for tonight. So let me finish getting stuff set up. Of course, it doesn't take very long to set up. Uh, you push level, open the slide, and deploy the awning. I'm not connecting to the water because I still have three quarters of a tank. And I probably won't mess with the sewer until tomorrow morning. But I've got a few more things I need to do. And then we'll deploy a little red and we'll go see some stuff. I think this may have been the site I had last time I was here, four years ago. It's definitely greener than it was four years ago. Lots of wildlife. Let's go, let's go see some stuff. Right Patman Lake. Check this out. We're on the north side now. Dam is way down there i think that actually may be the dam right there which means that we were like right over there yesterday last night and back up around that channel yesterday or the day before anyway we were down that way and now we're here this is the day use area adjacent to my camping loop not so much a beach there is water access. All right, I gotta, I gotta make my way back up here. Unfortunately, there's not really any good way to get Little Red down that hill. So I won't be coming back down here, but one more time. So let's go, let's go see some Atlanta State Park stuff. Four years ago, when I was here at Atlanta State Park, there were huge flocks of pelicans out in the middle of the lake. Well, it turns out they are from Canada and they migrate down here during the winter. I, I must not have read that. If I read that, I forgot it the last time I was here. Pelicans come here to visit. They're the original snowbirds. Here in the day use area, you've got some of those cool swings that you can go real high and jump out of and break your ankle. And there's basketball if you need to shoot some hoops 
And wait, there's more. If you have a large group of people that, and you want to come to Atlanta State Park and have a place to hang out, they have a, an open air group pavilion with plenty of cooking opportunities and tables to eat on. You can play horseshoes here and wait, wait a minute, that's a volleyball net. Seems that volleyball is really popular here on Wright Patman Lake. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Just down from my campsite is the Knight's Bluff camping loop. It's, it's the end of the road kind of loop. Not going to get any, any drive through traffic here. And you can play some horseshoes. These sites are all just so pretty. All right, we need to go see some stuff to do. Now that we know what campsites look like, we'll go find some, some, some swimming stuff. I made my way over to the, the beach. Actually, it's just a swim area, not really a beach. There's a steep drop off right there, so you have to go over here. That's a long way down to go swimming though. All right, let's go check out a boat ramp. I know this is gonna disappoint my boat ramp fans, but I'm, I'm not gonna go down to the boat ramp, go down the boat ramp. I am at the boat ramp. Oh, and this is where you rent canoes. If you need a canoe, that's a long way down. Oh, and they have a, hold on, we'll get up here, buy it. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. They have a fish cleaning station, but it looks like it may not be functional. All right, now we're gonna go to the other side of Atlanta State Park. If you're coming out to Atlanta State Park and, and you want the remote of the remote campsites, you don't have to have sewer. All you need is some electricity to run your air conditioner. Then side number 53 is a great option for the smaller one. And then 50, 52, I think. I think that's number 52 is the, the creme de la creme of sites. Now there's a trail kind of that goes down to the water, but I actually think it goes down the boat ramp. I haven't tried to navigate it. It's pretty steep. Uh, and little, little Red just, just wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't make it. All right, so that side is number 52. Of course, no, there's not really any ugly sites out here. There's even a horseshoe pit right there. All right, let's go see some more stuff for my boat ramp fans. Here's the boat ramp. Now, it's not much of a boat ramp, but it gets your boat in the water. And if you're looking to rent some canoes, they actually have canoe rental at both boat ramps. All of the campsites over here on top of the hill, uh, it's a mix of pull through and back in. 30 amp with water. Just some really beautiful, beautiful campsites. Now if you want to, you want to see these in a, in a different perspective, uh, jump. Tune in Wednesday. I'll be doing a virtual tour of this campground, and I'll be going the opposite direction than what I am now. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. Learn something new every day. I saw the Bobo Ferry Trail sign here and back up there. Turns out, this is an original road across Texas, through East Texas. And there was a enterprising businessman. Uh, his name was Samuel Bobo. And he operated the ferry across the Sulphur River. And it was not cheap five cents for a single sheep to three dollars for a wagon and four horses. So 80 cents 
is equal to $45 in 2018. Wow. But you had no choice. He was he had a captive audience. And there was also a, an outlaw, Cullen Baker. He terrorized people in Cass County and he used the road and the ferry during his illegal operations. And he was called the Swamp Fox of the Sulphur. He was a bad dude. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So I'm out abusing Little Red again, trying to do some trail rides here at Atlanta State Park. The Bobo Trail was that was that was harsh. So I'm not I'm not that trail's been around for thousands of years, literally hundreds of years anyway. I, I'm not going to try any other trails after the Arrowhead Trail, but I, I did want to share this with you. So I've come through the, the dead grove that's dead because of flooding in 2016, and it's brought me to the shores of Lake Wright Patman. What a beautiful little place. If you want to take a dip in the lake, this is where you do it. All right, let's go find some more Atlanta State Park stuff. Today's video is brought to you by... Welcome to your secret weapon to finding the perfect campsite. Campground virtual tours are here, they're real, and they're available for you. Have you ever been to Joshua Tree National Park? We have now. You're in Jumbo Rocks Campground, the most popular campground within that national park, and you're taking a look around. You're seeing the roads, you're seeing the sites, you're seeing how far away that restroom is from those sites. Details never before available to you as a camper are at your fingertips right now. You can even enter the dates of your stay. I'm going to be there on September 14th. You enter that date, hit confirm, and your map will update showing you which sites are green and available for your stay. Click on them and jump up to and take a look at that particular campsite. Is this one right for you? If it is, that's a pretty cool spot, isn't it? If it is, click on it, click book. And there you go. You can book that campsite right now. Campground virtual tours are available, as noted, for over 860 locations all across the United States. Go to campgroundviews.com, click on the virtual tours tab, and you'll see all the tours we have available right now. Note there's pages. Simply click on the pages to load more results, and it'll update the map and the listings below with the different campgrounds we have available. If you want to go by state, click the regions tab, and you can easily go to the various states that we currently have tours available of campgrounds all over the place. The campground virtual tours are a game-changing experience and we invite you to join now by going to campgroundviews.com, clicking on join and signing up today. The link is right up there. So I just jumped on YouTube. Yes, that's right, I can watch YouTube here. I have Verizon cell service uh, and it's four bars and then it drops down to one. Unless I have the WeBoost antenna, which is right there. Now the WeBoost inside, it's just a four bars down to three bars. Something to do with that tower is fluctuating. I went back in time and I looked at the video that I posted for this, this campground and wow, that was harsh. <laughs> I'll do a better job this time, I promise. Uh, I was in site number 18, so that's two sites back that way. All of the sites here in the pull-through section, they all pretty much have the same patio view, the, the same porch view. It's a beautiful view, by the way. I've just been sitting here waiting for deer to come and say hi, because there's a lot of deer in this campground. I wanted to correct what I had said earlier, because I said I think that this is the same site. We were two sites that way. 18. I have to say the best thing about Atlanta State Park is it's it's just it's so peaceful here. Other than the occasional traveling dog barking, the, the only thing you hear is well, air conditioners and birds. <laughs> you don't hear boats, you don't hear highway noise. Lots of birds of all kinds singing. Now there is a downside to being in the piney woods. And that is when the humidity gets up, the trees block all the wind. So it gets 
sticky and the, there's no air movement but just look at this front porch view I don't know how it could get much better than this. No air conditioner noise. But we gotta have the air conditioner. Moisture's moved in from the Gulf. And it is humid. Once again. I think I'm done with cameras for now, at least until sunset. And I gotta go do my Instagram thing. In case you don't know, I'm Dude RV Texas on Instagram and I do sunsets and other things, but mostly, mostly sunsets. All right, I'll catch up with y'all in the morning. Good morning. Good morning from Atlanta State Park, deep in the East Texas Piney Woods, on the banks of Wright Patman Lake. This is a very peaceful campground, a very peaceful place. As I mentioned yesterday, there's 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 no road noise. There's no planes flying over. There's no boat noise. Occasionally there's the barking from the camping dogs and the air conditioning units. And with the humidity at where it is today, uh, I, I understand the air conditioning units. Mine's running right now. I like this campground. There's not a whole lot of stuff. Not like you'd find at Tyler or Dangerfield State Park where you got canoes and kayaks and big play structures and yada 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 but what you do have is tranquility beautiful birds beautiful trees lots of deer yeah this is a good place to escape and get away for a little while this is definitely a destination i like atlanta state park I mean, look at, look at what's behind me. You know, and there's the spacing between the campsites is is pretty decent. Hard to believe there's actually campsites, full connection campsites open. That'll change today though. Today's July 1 and this is the weekend. We're done here, but we're not done yet. I really think if, if you're if you're RVing, you need to come to Atlanta State Park. Now this is not a really a waypoint stop because it's it's kind of off the beaten path uh, unless you're traveling 59 headed north and south through East Texas. This could be a waypoint stop if you're not in any big hurry. That's the best way to say it. If you're not in a hurry and you're just kind of wandering across the state of Texas, Atlanta State Park is a excellent waypoint stop. I'd spend a couple of days here. 
beautiful here. But we're done here. It is time to load up. It doesn't take much to load up when you don't deploy very much. I mean, this this is how camp has looked. <laughs> I put the lawn chair away. We had a little rain shower. Chance of rain last night, so I put the lawn chair away. And then it showered. So from here, I'm headed to the Lake of the Pines. I'm returning to Lake of the Pines. There's there's a campground there that I didn't document on my last when I last visited Lake of the Pines there was a particular campground that I really wanted to see which is Brushy Creek so from here we're headed over to Brushy Creek to show you the stuff at Brushy Creek on Lake of the Pines so remember to click on the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell as well you're not going to want to miss next Sunday's episode of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show if you've already subscribed, thank you. That's why I'm here. That's, that's why I get to come out and see these really cool places. Thank you for that opportunity. I'm most appreciative. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. Thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?